Hey guys, I'm going to talk today. We got the Thrunet TN12 on the table, and we're going to talk about a quick hack. And it's not even really a hack, just a little tidbit for you that can help you get a little extra juice out of your flashlight without modifying it, without doing anything to it, changing or doing anything that may affect your flashlight negatively. So, a lot of people buy a flashlight like the TN12 because, you know, they're good, pocketable, EDC, everyday carry flashlights from a good, reputable company, and they're pretty decent in price. But another reason they buy them is because they use different batteries. Your TN12 can use 18650s, it can use CR123 lithium primaries, or it can use rechargeable CR123s. Now, of course, each one of these is going to have differences in the flashlight and how the flashlight performs. 18650 has that big, you know, 3400 milliamp hour capacity, it's going to run longer but it's only 4.2 volts. Two CR123s, they're three volts, they're gonna run at a total of six volts, and their capacity is not gonna be as high as <coughs> that 18650. So what you're gonna get is a brighter flashlight that won't run as long. Now oftentimes, if people buy a flashlight, they say, well, you know, I'm just gonna use the CR123s. And then they build up and say, you know what, I really use this a lot, I really like it, I'm gonna start buying rechargeables and they end up buying the rechargeable CR123s. And one thing you'll notice right off the bat is the capacity of these can be very, very low. If we focus, you'll see these are only 650 milliamp hours. So you add them together, you're talking 1300 milliamp hours, but they're 4.2 volts apiece. So you're talking 8.4 volts. So you're talking about even brighter with an even shorter runtime. Now this is beneficial to some people who want to eke out every last lumen out of their flashlight and don't care about the runtime. Those are people who might be running it as a tactical flashlight who really just care about that quick, bright burst of light, which is, you know, what they want it for. Everybody's uses are going to be different. The guy who maybe is going to be using his flashlight heavily throughout the day may mm -hmm. want the 18650. That guy who's just using this as a nightstand uh, bully blinder may want two uh, rechargeable CR123s for that extra, extra couple of lumens they squeeze out of it. But there is another option you probably don't know about, which is really cool because it's very not well, uh, well it's not talked about much, which is to replace those rechargeable CR123s with 18350s. Now 18350s maintain the same diameter as an 18650, however, their capacity is significantly higher than the 16340 or RCR123. These XSTAR here are 850 a piece for a grand total of 1700 milliamp hours. So, you just have effectively added a whole other option to your flashlight and how you use it. And the cool thing is, is once again, you're at that 8.4 volts, so you're getting that brighter flashlight. You're getting those couple extra lumens from having the extra voltage. But if you compare two of these, which are 1300, to this, which is 1700, that's an additional 400 milliamp hours. On full blast, a, night, a flashlight like this uh, TN12 is going to run about 2 amps at full blast. So that'll give you an extra 10-15 minutes of light out of these two batteries over the 16340. Now if you're running in lower modes, which may only use half an amp, you're talking quite an extended runtime. You're adding to your flashlight by switching that over. And do they cost any more? Nope. They're actually pretty much the same price. The only difference really is that, <laughs> I hate to say it, but you're really wasting space with these. You have a 16 millimeter battery and an 18 millimeter tube. It's kind of silly to even buy them. I know we do because they're the same size as the CR123, but in reality, <coughs> any flashlight that takes the 18650 can fit two of these. Now, it doesn't mean it can use them. You gotta bear in mind, the LED may not be rated for that eight volts, and you do need to check before you do this because you could fry your flashlight. But if your flashlight can take two CR123s 
it can probably take two of these and you're going to get that extra 400 million amp hours by doing it and that's a nice little hack and a good little thing to know if you do have that need for it but like i said bear in mind brighter flashlight shorter run time not as short as these little guys but it will be you know you're talking about half of an 18650 so there you go hope you enjoyed